Our next control type uses lines to control the tool vector. So I'm going to switch this to a front view, center it on my screen a little bit here. I'm going to go to my level manager and I'm going to put myself on level 7, which is the level called lines, and I'm going to turn off level 6. And we're going to leave this on a 2D construction and I'm going to set my Z to 0. So now I want to construct some lines. I'm going to create lines between endpoints and what I want to do is control the angle of the tool using this line. So when the tool is at this point, I want the angle to come out this way somewhere. And then we're going to put one on this side pointing out this way. So I'm making these so that they're kind of perpendicular to that face, but they don't have to be. As an example, when it moves around this little radius here, I could have it go that way, or I could just say, when it goes around the radius, keep it straight. Now my biggest concern is how I'm going to get around this hook. So what I'm going to do is put a point somewhere along that curve and the best way to do that I'm gonna break out of this point command and I'm gonna to go to create point dynamic let's zoom up on this a little bit so for creating a point dynamic there's a lot of different things I can grab but I only want to grab that curve but because that curve is on that face it makes it kinda of hard to grab so I'm gonna turn off my shading and it should make it a lot easier to grab that curve. So now, I'll grab that, and I'll slide along. And what I want to do is put it just so that it's inside of this edge. Okay, and then I want to put another one that's going to be just inside of this edge. And then I want to put another one kind of at the quadrant, which should be the middle and we'll OK that. So now I have those three points. If I go to a top view, you can see where those three points are. Now I'm going to switch back to a front view, and I'm going to create a line, and I'm going to attach to a point, and I'm going to grab this point here, and I want it to angle out somewhere this way when it reaches that point. And I'm going to grab points again, have it grab that point and angle out somewhere this way when it's on that side. And we'll OK that. Now I'm going to go to a right side view, and then I'm just going to rotate the part a little bit so I can see those other points. Really what that did was it put me in a right side construction plane. Now I'm going to create another line from a point. I'm going to grab that middle point now and I'm going to switch back to a full right side view and I want it to angle out this way somewhere. And we'll OK that. So those lines will control the toolpath. So again, I'm going to grab this operation, slide my mouse down a little bit, drop it, and say copy after. And we'll move our pointer down again. We'll dig into the parameters for this operation. Same toolpath type same tool, new comment, and I'll say line type control. For our cut parameters, we're going to be cutting the same curve. For our tool axis control, which is what we're focusing on here, we'll go to our pull down and tell it we're going to control this with lines. And now we can select our lines. Now when you're picking these, it's important to pick them from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to pick that one, this one, 
here, 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 and here. And we'll OK that. Collision control, it's still going to be comping to the same surfaces. Linking parameters will be the same. We'll say OK. And now we'll regenerate that operation. Now I'll turn on the toolpath display and we can see the direction of that toolpath. So basically what it's doing is as it cuts along that curve and it gets to that point, it makes sure the tool is lined up with that line along the curve. And that's how we can avoid the hook. Take a look at that in Backplot. So that allows us to keep the tool straight up and down along these areas and tilt it out of the way in these areas. And that is how you do line control on a 5-axis curved toolpath.